Research shows that early math skills are an enormously strong predictor of later academic achievement. This video shows how we develop these skills and concepts at Bradshaw Hall. We allow children to understand different mathematical representations, giving a balanced diet of practical maths experiences, encouraging drawings and mark makings, facilitating maths talk and introducing math symbols. We help people to experience and see the maths in their everyday lives. Children are put in a range of play scenarios where they solve practical mathematical problems and encounter numbers in context, using mark making to record thinking. Teachers and support staff are active participants here, helping children to extend ideas and redirecting play where appropriate. In learning to count, children need to learn number names and have lots of exposure to hearing and seeing numbers. They need to hear number sequences in songs and books and see number patterns visually using number lines and hundred squares. This will enable children to count forwards and backwards. They need to develop one-to-one -one correspondence, the process of touching one object for every number that's counted, linking counting to physical movement. They'll learn to arrange objects so they know which have been counted, also realising that when an already counted set is rearranged, the total for the set remains unchanged. Finally, children will be able to count non-physical objects like movements or sounds through mental imaging. This is introduced by counting screened objects. To experience the size of numbers and understand the different meaning and uses numbers can have, we might take the children on a number hunt. Here are some of the different ways children might see the number 5. This activity allows them to mathematise their world. They'll need these kinds of experiences at home as well as at school. To become fluent in maths, children will need to know the names of numerals, for example recognising units and multiples of 10 and soon combining the two. Children need lots of help and practice in reading and writing teen numbers, as the sound that represents the 10, the teen, comes second in a teen number. We call them the naughty teens. Children are soon able to count up from one, but often need practice to be able to count from different starting points. Also, they often need more support with backwards number word sequences, especially when crossing the tens boundary. We always use visual models to teach these key skills, making sure they're well selected to the task. For example, a hundred squares great for counting up and down in tens, whereas a number line is a more effective support to a child that needs help in counting down over a tens boundary. Children must also learn to break single digit numbers down in different ways and become able to recognise small numbers, for example on dice or numicon shapes, without having to count them in ones. Games and images that allow children to visualise numbers broken down in different ways are invaluable. For example, the ladybird and dominoes can represent five broken down in different ways, as four and one and three and two. We also use 10 frames to help children to recognise numbers up to 10. For example, recognising 7 as 5 and 2 without having to count. 10 frames also help the children to develop early place value skills. For example, recognising 10 as a sort of unit, 1, 10. This supports the understanding of 16 as being 10 and 6. We hope you found this video useful in showing how we develop early number concepts at Bradshaw Hall.